basically it is just a list of scores, but there are dates of births and deaths and even obituaries. So just what exactly is this extraordinary tome that's 150 years old this week? Um, so what is it, Joshua? It's the Wisdom Almanac. It's the Bible of cricket. It's 1,500 pages of scores and essays, but it's more than that too. It's It really captures what the, the, what cricket is all about for a lot of people. It's tradition and it's also some quirky things like this index of unusual occurrences here. We've got rumors of death exaggerated in this test cricketer. Uh, but I mean, why do people want to read that? Because it's, um, they always have. It's the idea that if it's not in wisdom, it didn't happen in cricket. Okay, but what, what does it have in there? I mean, apart well, from all this. It's got scores going back you know, for the, the whole year all over the world. It's got essays. It's got a few random facts too. It's got things like the man who mistook his uh, a ball for a hat or something like that. Um, <laughs> okay, right. Andrew, the worst part is, I have to admit to everybody, you actually read it and you collect it. Yes, I've been collecting these uh, cricket books for, for a number of years. I've got quite a big collection now. I guess it all started when I was young. I used to love cricket and I loved particularly the stats and the scores and who'd scored what. But as, as I've got older, it is the essays. As, as Joshua knows, cricket writing, sports journalism in general has there's some terrific writing these days. And, and Wisden is really a, a repository for that uh, on the cricket side. But this thing has been going through 18, since 1864. Um, you know, it's a lot, basically, it's, it's just a bunch of Victoriana, isn't it? Well, no, it's, uh, you know, it, at various points, there are significant years. For instance, in 1915, they had 48 pages of obituaries of cricketers who went to war. You know, they, they've really tried to capture where cricket fits in in the world as well. Oh. Why is it, but why is it so popular? I mean, you know, it apparently it only has a print run of, what, 30,000 or something? I mean, why does everybody know about it? Why does everybody want to read it? Well, it's always top of the bestseller lists uh, when it comes out, so it's 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 very I assume popular in indeed. Britain, though, I assume. Yeah, <laughs> but it, obviously, well, obviously in Britain. But it, <laughs> yeah. but, it, but it, it's as Joshua said, it's comprehensive. It has all you need to know about the past years, past year of cricket. But it has some great features as well. Every year they choose their five cricketers of the year. That's always a keenly awaited moment, that, and it's a great honor. And cricketers themselves see it as a great thing to be nominated. Okay, but. The main thing, of course, is all the scores, but you can go on the internet and get all that. Why do you have to buy this book? And it's not cheap, either. No, that's the thing. It retails at 50 pounds. It's, um, it's 1,500 pages. But then again, it is pretty thick. <laughs> if, even pretty if it's actually very small. Right, it's 1,500 pages. <laughs> it's supposed pages, to be a pocket book, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it was once. It was 200 pages. Okay, fine. Big for um, pocket now. But at 1,500 pages, it's not designed to be read straight through. It's about <coughs> dipping in and out, looking up minutia that you may have some connection to and you know they're always correcting but there's in this edition a correction for 1974. It just it just shows <clears throat> okay that's what you call accuracy t taken yeah. to the nth extent. And, and as Josh says uh, when you collect them over the years you get a real sense of history uh, as he says the, the First World War when you read those obituaries <coughs> in 1915 it's terribly moving. What's well, extraordinary as well of course is he was once owned by the millionaire Paul Getty. It I, was. Mean, I mean why, why was he buying it? The same, this for the same reason he was donating money to Lords because it's it's part of cricket, it's the fabric of cricket, um, and and what you see is, you know, the continuity is the most important thing for them. The collectors will tell you that if there hadn't been that continuity, if there had been even one break, the value would have plummeted. Okay, cricket is a pretty quirky game, so I guess it has a quirky book to go with it. Any other sports have anything like this? that you can think of? I mean, baseball in the States? Baseball has had various annuals, but never for more than 30 or 40 years at a time. Um, they've tr they tried a Wisden rugby that never caught on. And they've, it's, it's so uniquely British as well that they've tried a Wisden Australia that they canceled after eight years. Right, there it is. And also make sure that when you spell it, it's almanac with a K, not just a C. Because it's tradition. <laughs> Absolutely. Josh, Andrew, thank you very much indeed.